For more, we go to Razor Fist. What kind of stupid shit did Alex Hutchings say, Razor Fist? <laughs> he essentially suggested that the j gaming journalism field has engaged in benevolent racism with the Japanese industry by not requiring them to write good stories, basically. Basically, they will give a pass to indulgent emo dreck like the crap that's been, you know, foisted on us by the Final Fantasy series for the last several years, uh, or, you know, Magna Carta or any given, you know, Nihongo Philic RPG, and basically just give them a pass and whatever. And that, that they say that that's racism at the end of the day, and that America's just being racist towards the Japanese, which is, ugh, come on, come on. I mean, we're talking about Japan here. You want racist? Well, because unlike this shrieking shitbag, I've actually been to Japan. Uh, so, you know, listen listen up. No, because as far as I'm concerned, no matter how racist, and I said this before the podcast, no, no matter how much the most racist, like, beer-swilling, possum-fucking-redneck in Alabama claims to hate the Japanese, he can never hate them even a fraction as much as the Japanese hate absolutely anyone who isn't Japanese. And that, that mentality definitely does seep down into their game industry as well. I mean, I remember, I, I think in school I heard about the Prime Minister of Japan in about 1986. He made a public statement reporting the reason why Japanese students have so much higher test scores than Americans is that, uh, and I fucking quote, Japan doesn't have to worry about minorities like Puerto Ricans or blacks lowering their overall average. The Prime Minister of Japan, folks. Woohoohoo! Shit! <laughs> I mean, that's the equivalent of President Bush calling Nelson Mandela a moon cricket. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck? That is ridiculous. I, mean, I know I've been pegged for saying some shit, but that is some shit right there, boy. <laughs> Japan talking shit. I mean, Japan is making bad games. Shinji Mikami admits it. Hideo Kojima admits it. Akira Yamaoka admits it. Which, by the way, Ubisoft Montreal, the fact that they make bad games, it gives them something in common with you, fuckbags. You know, wake it, wake me up when you make a, dis a decent Splinter Cell title, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, so, you know. <laughs> but journalists are subtly racist because they give a, a shitty JRPG a free pass for having a proportionately shitty narrative. No, that that's perfectly understandable. What kind of fucking argument is that? Grass doesn't come in any other color than green, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It Absolutely. does if you're tripping real hard. Oh, I wow. could eat, I could eat alphabet soup, and seven hours later, I could literally shit a better a fucking better argument than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet and, you could, and with fewer grammatical errors, <laughs> and for some reason, punctuation. <laughs> <laughs>